in this question, we are told that AB is a tangent to this circle over here. And we are also told that CP is a tangent to this circle over there. They said P4, P4 is over here. They want that one to be equal to X. And then M2 should, oh, there is a little X there actually. Sorry guys, the quality is just not that good. It's the best quality I could find, but that's supposed to be X. And then there's a M2, which is supposed to be Y. So I'm just gonna write it a little bit bigger like that. For six marks, we have to prove that the lines KN is parallel to AB. So these two lines, they want us to prove that those are parallel. So there might be other ways of doing this, but one of the ways I found was by using the tangent AB and the chord PN, and then by using the tan chord theorem, we could prove that this angle M4 is also equal to X. So we can say that M4 is equal to X because of the tan chord theorem. Then we can say that angle M1 is also equal to X because of vertically opposite angles. Okay, so that's also equal to X. So now what we can do is we can look at this tangent, uh, PC, and the chord KM, and then look at this angle here. Now let's use the tan chord in this circle. So remember, if you struggle with the tan chord, you have to take your finger, or two fingers, and put one of them on either side of the chord. So you would put a finger here and a finger here, and now you try and make those two fingers come together. So that would be down there, and over there, and so that would be angle R2. So we can say angle R2 is equal to X because of the tan chord theorem. And so now I want you to look at the cyclic quadrilateral NMRP, and then let's just extend this line a little bit over here. Now can you see that this angle is the exterior angle of that cyclic quad? So we know that the exterior angle of a cyclic quad is always equal to the interior opposite angle. So we can say that angle N is equal to X because it is the exterior angle of a cyclic quad. So this is X. Now, finally, we can see that these two angles are the same. And so that's almost like an alternating angle. So it means that these two lines must be parallel. So we can say um, KN is parallel to AB. Now don't say alternating angles because we're doing it in the other way around. So you could say converse alternating angles or you could say it is because the alternating angles are equal to each other. Okay, so you say that the alternating angles are equal to each other and so those lines are parallel for six marks. That's quite a good question. Okay, so moving on to... Uh, question 9.2, PM equals to PN. So PM is this one, and PN is this one. Oh, well, they're definitely the same, because we know that M4 is already the same as N, angle N, and that's proven from previous things. So we can then say that PM is the same as PN, and that's just because they are the sides that are opposite equal angles. Now for question 9.3, they want us to prove that PQ is a tangent to the circle QRT. So we need to draw a little circle, QRT. So it would look something like that. Now, whenever they ask you to prove if it is a tangent, you should probably do the tan chord theorem. You should try to find the tan chord theorem in reverse. So for example, if we look at the tangent PQ, well, we can't call it a tangent just yet. Well, it's a line PQ. And if we look at the chord RQ, then if we, had to, if, we pretend, if we pretend that that was a tangent, then we know that from the tan chord theorem, this angle would have to be the same as T2. So if we can prove that, if we can prove that Q3 is the same as T2, then it is a tangent. So that's our goal. Let's try prove that Q3 is equal to T2. So if we look at the alternating uh, angles or the alternating lines that we just found, I mean, sorry, the parallel lines that we just found, then we should see that this angle and this angle must be the same because of alternating angles. 
So we can say that angle Q3 is the same as angle M2, which is equal to Y. And that's just because of alternating angles, because KM is parallel to QP. Let's put that over here. KM parallel to QP. Now, if we could find out that T2 is also equal to Y, because now we know that this is Y, then we've done it. Then we know that it's a tangent. So let's try to see if T2 can be the same as Y. If you look in the cyclic quad KMRT, then we should know that this angle and this angle are the same because T2 is the exterior angle of that cyclic quad. So we can say that T2 is equal to M2, which is equal to Y, because that is the exterior angle of a cyclic quad. And so look at that. If this is Y, then these two are now the same. So we can say, therefore, PQ is a tangent. And that's just because of the converse of the tan chord theorem.